Hello, guys. Welcome to another live New York session. It is September 20th, 2024. Uh, it is Friday. But before we start, let's check the news and as we can see, we don't have any news uh, today. We're going to the news. That's good. We're going to be trading gold today, as usual. We want to be implementing the GSA strategy. So let's go ahead and get that. So, we're going to go to the one hour time frame. We're going to figure out what is the overall trend. Uh, you can clearly see that price is overall bullish. Uh, all the way from this point, quite a bit of in the previous times. Just go ahead and draw a trend line here. Then we are going to turn on the CC trend indicator. Just try to get down everything. And yet, I turn on when the CC trend indicator is coming up as well. And the gray line is coming back to the price of the wall is there. Oh, boy. So with that being said, we know what the overall market is. Now we're going to switch to a smaller time frame and figure out what is the current market. Uh, and when we look here, we can see that current market looks like a bit as well. Uh, when we look from this swing low to this swing high, previous lows have been broken as well. So let's go ahead and draw a trend line and then confirm it with the CC trend indicator. So yes, the blue lines are pointing upward as well. So price is still overall bullish. But now we're going to draw a trading line this. So we pretty much want to start from this swing low here. Um, and then you see a bunch of structure here. So I'm going to kind of go through that. So this is our in the lower here. This is about swing five. And I say that I'll break the structure right here. Yeah. So we're in a bullish trade line. So, we're going to label these so that we're going to swing the lower. We're going to swing high. It's well for the structure. So, now we're going to take our Fibonacci. And since we're in the bullish range, we're going to swing it from the most recent low to the most recent high. And uh, you can see that price rejected there, sixty percent here. The selling zone is going to be a buy zone. That's really from here. Now, there's a possibility that price. It looks like price really rejected. I mean, the rip rejected fifty percent, but it looks like price really. I'm going to really get to the 3820. Or we can raise this up to the 3820. And just know that price can come anywhere. And we go to this area and all the way down to this area and come back there. It's a possibility. And now we have the idea. Um, so let's see what our two play on the pivot match effect with this. Uh, 
Okay, so a bottom, a lower, a lower third of the bone is healed. The price will stick out and actually hit this area and it'll go well. But it's good to know. But I really like the idea of pull back from the uh, so let me do a quick thing. I'm going to go in so you make it easier for us. So now, you can see quite a little bit closer. Now, what we want to do is wait for the 815 coming up to keep them to close. I mean, 915 coming to close, and they're closing right there over six minutes. And then we will move on to the next step. But I will be right back. All right, so now uh, the 915 uh, candle has closed. Uh, so since we're in the overall bull market, um, I'm really looking to uh, buy uh, buy a belt. This is where the sixteen uh, hundred pounds. We are going to do one of those here, 829, and then using my recording, and then we're going to switch and focus on high So Probably for the first 10 or 15 minutes, that's going to be busy, not going to be taking trade it out. It doesn't be a strategic group, so that's really both of the rest of the way that we're going to go. So we're mm -hmm. about 11 minutes or so before the uh, 929 is Stay tuned and I will be right back. The old life price is buying up, so I decided to go in for a while. So, One more way to 929. This one is really bad enough. But we'll see.
to get somebody off of that. Normally, I wouldn't take the nine twenty nine plan, but with this one, I thought that we don't have a ticket. We get about seven dollars or seventy one dollars. That's good. They need to work on my patient and they get that credit. They get okay with that. Then we got to me my results and then I said they get to me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and send my results real quick here. Okay. All right. All right. We're inside the state markets app. Uh, I made $60 on the first trade, first partial trade, and then. $10 in a second partial trade, so a total of $70. Yeah, yeah. I am going to jump in again, like in my pretty candle, but I'm going to be using one of my other brokers or meta trader. Uh, see how we do on that. So, uh, we have a guy that's about eight twenty nine. dollars Let me open up my other broker with the broker. Basically, going to focus on price size around the web. See if we can make some profit on the broker trade. So, this is going to have a broker that we need to pass out a slave on the broker. Okay. And the reason I'm doing this in order to go for it is because I want to practice patience and watch the price action from my eye on price action. About 10 seconds before we have the candle flames. Let's see what we can do. The 9 30 candle is closed. The candle is good now. The candle is going to be starting to. But I'm going to push on the sale. Maybe trace, call the trace, and we're in that area. Back in the tracing. Yeah. 
you know, so let's see that width there. Let's slide it down. Put it right side by going over there. I want to settle down and do this shot there to the other foot. Wow. Made about forty eight dollars on this account. It's kind of going up and down. So, it's a good job to let it do. It means that probably the next candle price is probably going to sit in a box in the day. That can really drop. Made about seven dollars on Spain Market Breaker, and then I made about I made an extra forty eight dollars on this Pixie Trade Broker as well. So we'll just wrap it up. But let me share that with let me share that with all the people. Let me share that with all the people. This is a matter of the four. That's the four new dollars. That's four. But we made over a hundred dollars total of this. So, what's that? I don't see the bird in this couple of minutes, and then we'll wrap it up for the next 35 seconds. Okay.
Hey, bro, you call me? Hold on for a minute. Okay. Curious to see what the next camera is going to be, guys. Um, so, that's going to happen in about six minutes. So, I'll call this again. And I'll see if Pike's there as uh, at the next camera. Just to see what it does. So I'll be right back. All right, so we got about 20 seconds for the next 10 to 12. We're going to look at high sides and see what it does. I've got to get in the practice. I already made that uh, most money in my whole life. Sweat. Right. Okay, right. So we're going to get in the practice. We've got to keep going back. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you to put it in my body to be done. So, my guy, another set of friends is going to be choice to be back in the world. I mean, you know, it's going to be a little bit. Yeah, no, I don't know if I can answer that. Yeah, that word was here. I said it out there. Just to see.
that you know, is and I just put some up. But that's the reason why I want to let this recording go so I can study this, so I can keep down the playing this and studying this and training my eye. And look at this price action that I got understand when the price flips where it ups and up and down. You know, give me an idea of when to get in and when to get out. And then it's self confirmation. But again, you we have a two code to buy here. Okay, I had to test this area and push it uh, and test this area where well, buyers push the price back up. And it looks like it's pushing it back up to the price that's going to apply. And it lets us know why we have to be very patient and get into these markets, especially the first third of the minutes of it, and not the kind of goes in. But some kind of price would give you um, an automatic trade. You know, I mean, an automatic uh, order trade, the way God might be doing something like that. wait, because the institutions are trying to knock all these retail traders out while grabbing all of that liquidity. But you don't want to get caught into the trap where you get knocked out. You know, to kind of wait until they're kind of done doing that and then really confirm to figure out which direction price is kind of coming and confirm that price is going to go the direction that the is going to go. So we see this wick here. This is letting me know that there's a strong liquidity ground here. And more likely price is just like this that we got to focus on the guy up this way. But that's not studying this. I know this recording just go at least it's take the 10 o'clock candle, and then we'll see if we get something. Uh, if not, then we'll probably wrap it up. Which is still down. There's no doubt on the period. But patience is a key.
Yeah, yeah. See how we do on this. Let's see that. Let's just see if we can get something on this. That's the beauty of being patient and trying to understand the process. But when you finally get in the price of where to go, then that's when you can really capitalize.
74. Okay. So, no, another $74 one on a trade. So, that's $123 total. That's a trade for all four trades. So, that's a trade for all four trades. So, that's a trade for all four And then we'll wrap this up. That's our price is fine. It is going to be a very good video to study over. But again, it's going to be price on it. So, Got it to go. Okay. This is on uh, price and trade. Well, okay. it's going to be 124, 125. Uh, <laughs> you go to the history here. We made 123 dollars and 20 cents today. A lot of brokers. So, first trade $48.30, the second trade $74. But on okay. Sunday, we made 123 dollars on price and trade here. And then on the straight market side, we made a total out of uh, about seven dollars. But we did big today, studying price action, we went at the right time. But uh, still got work to do, but we could get better done. But that's it for this uh, New York session. You guys enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you Monday.